In this video we're going to learn a little bit about how colored samples are analyzed on a spectrometer. This is a picture of a Ocean Optics portable UV-Vis spectrometer. It has a light source, just a light bulb that emits um, wavelengths mainly in the visible but a little bit of UV and IR. And this is the cuvette that holds your sample and it's good to fill in about three-fourths full. And there are two sides that are transparent so you want the light to go through that and that will be placed inside this little uh, tray right here called the cuvette holder. As light is passed through, it's picked up by this fiber, cable, fiber optic cable, which is then put into a wavelength detector here, and it separates the light into its different wavelength components and analyzes how much of each wavelength is present. And it puts that out into what's called an absorbance spectrum. And the spectrum is comprised of which wavelengths are there on the x-axis, typically done in nanometers, and how much of those wavelengths are being absorbed is uh, displayed on a graph, and there's typically a peak to it, and you can move a cursor around to find where that peak is. And the computer will often read uh, at the intersection of that peak uh, where is the peak and how tall it is measured on the y-axis. The absorbance is the y-axis. There's no units for that. It just tells you how much is there. So in this particular example, it is absorbing at 473 nanometers and an absorbance level of 2.25 absorbance units. So it's important to have a nice clean cuvette and that the light is shining through the transparent sides. You can clean it off and wipe off any fingerprints if it looks dirty. It's important to understand that what you see with your eyes is actually opposite of what's being absorbed. You see the light that's being transmitted. This color wheel um, is a nice display of the wavelengths and colors. So if you had a blue solution, it is transmitting blue to your eye and absorbing something on the opposite color side of the color spectrum here. So if you see blue, that means it's transmitting 435 to 500 nanometer light mainly. And then the samples absorbing between 610 and 595 nanometers. So if you were to put this in a spectrometer, you'd probably see a spectrum that looks like this, where there's a nice peak of absorption near 600, and it would probably be pretty high depending on how concentrated the sample is. So this shows you at 595 is where the peak is. And that is how we analyze solutions in the chemistry lab.